Welcome to our material science lab. Uh, today we have our second experiment which is the creep testing. So we will perform the creep test today. Uh, before going to the lab, let me introduce you the creep and uh, we will just explain the apparatus and the creep curve and then we will go to lab to perform uh, the test. Now what is creep? Creep is a plastic deformation which occur usually at a high temperature under constant uh, load. So when we expose a material to constant load for long time, right, and it deform, some deformation occur. Deformation might be permanent uh, deformation. It may change to the plastic region or there might be rupture. So that is known as uh, creep. So usually we are uh, evaluating the material which are used in the uh, application where there is a high temperature. So creep rate is used uh, in that uh, scenario, right? So that can be uh, like the, in the boiler material, the gas turbine material, right? The jet engine material, the ovens or any other application uh, relevant to these things to where there is a high temperature, right? So this is uh, the creep. Now it occurs at constant stress, you know, so if the load is uh, constant, so stress will be constant, right? As you know that stress is equal to force per unit area. Now in the creep test, what we do? Uh, we take a specimen, the tensile specimen, and uh, we expose the specimen to a constant load, right? Uh, at constant uh, temperature. Now, the measurement of strain is then recorded over a period of time. So if the stress is constant, now then what we have to do? Like we, if we see the, the graph, so here we have the strain, right? So here we don't have the, the stress. We, 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 we have only the time. So with respect to time, we have to plot the strain, right? Or the extension. And we take this specimen, you see the tensile specimen for uh, conducting the creep test also. Now, the creep testing machine, you see here, we will use uh, this machine to perform the test. Uh, both are the same, you see, we also have this one and this one. So what happens actually? In this machine, we have this long lever arm, you see here. This is used to put the load here. This load we hang it here and it should be constant, we will not change the load, right? Here we put the specimen, you see this uh, bracket, two brackets, this one and this one, and in between here, this white line, you see this is the specimen, which we have already, uh, which we have set here. And you will see after once uh, I finish this, we will go to the lab and perform how to fix the specimen. So this specimen is exposed to the load, which is here. Now the extension in the specimen will occur. And that extension we measure here, we record it here with the extension meter. We have a dial test indicator, right? You can see it here clearly in this image. So this gave us the extension. Now the extension we have to record with respect to time, right? And how much like time t equal to zero, t equal to one, two, three, four, and we record the uh, extension. This box, the transparent box is used to control the temperature within the surrounding of the specimen. Right, so we will do the our uh, experiment at room temperature, but we can use uh, you can use this one to change the temperature. This pack is here, cool pack. It is known as if you freeze it, you put it here. So here the temperature will be uh, different, and you can maintain with this uh, box. And the thermometer will show you the temperature reading. Right, so this is uh, the creep testing machine. You will see it after uh, once we go to the lab. Now, once we perform the experiment, then we have to plot, as I told you, we will record the strain with respect to time. So these two things we have to plot and we will see the creep curve. The normal creep curve looks like this. Now in this curve, let me explain it to you. Uh, you have to plot it then. Once we perform the experiment, after the experiment, I will provide you a table in which you will have the elastic strain and the time. So these two things I will provide you and the remaining work you have to do for the report. So in this creep curve, we have three stages, stage one, stage second, and third stage, right? Or you can say the primary creep, 
the secondary key and the tertiary key. Now here the, the change is transient. You see here there is a transient change. And after this, in the secondary, we, we see a steady state. So the creep, the creep is uh, not that much here, you see. And here we find the creep rate, right? At very low changes. So wherever there is the strain or the deformation is low, so we find the, the, creep, the creep rate here, right? So what we do, we take the slope here of the curve and it gave us the creep rate. And that creep rate, we use it to evaluate different materials for the application which I told you in the first slide. And here you see at the tertiary stage, the creep, uh, the, 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 the strain is uh, too much. It is changing too much, right? You see that it is rapidly changing. Now why it is changing too much here? If you see the creep specimen here as I uh, show you, uh, it looks like, you know, here, look, this is the creep specimen, right, as it is the tensile specimen, so it looks like. Now, if you are pulling it from this side, you are pulling it from this side, right, and after a long time, like after 20-30 uh, minutes, what we will do, the experiment, it usually takes 30 to 40 minutes. So, after a long time, what will happen? This will be, there will be deformation. You are pulling from here and here, right, because we are applying the load. So here in this region, a nicking will occur. It will, there will be a nicking, right? So the area will be reduced. Now this area will be removed, right? So due to this nicking, right? This, the, 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 the strain is too much here in the tertiary, right? Because the cross-sectional area is now reduced. It is not the same as it was before, like here, right? Here the cross-sectional area is reduced. That's why. Even the, the load is constant, but the cross-sectional area is reduced, so we see the uh, strain is high. That's why it is high in this region. And make sure we have to take the slope here in the secondary uh, creep or sec uh, second stage to find the creep rate, right? That's it. And now we will go to lab. So here we have our uh, creep uh, testing uh, machine. So with this we will perform the creep uh, test, right? For this what we have, we have this uh, machine, we have the long uh, lever arm, right? We put the load here, we will take the load, we, we put the load here which will be a constant load, we are not going to change the load, right? And we have to put the specimen here. So as I told you, we will use the tensile specimen. So we have the specimen here. This is our tensile specimen. Now how we fix it here, let me do it. I will fix the specimen and you will see. So first we have to remove these two bolts from here, right? And then we have to put the specimen like here and then we will tighten the bolt, right? So once we tighten the bolt from this side, then we can tighten the bolt from the top. So this is now I am tightening the bolt from the bottom and this make sure that the specimen is straight, right? So here now this side is okay. Now we will bring the lever and we will fix the, the top bolt, right? So which is here and from here I will fix this port. So now we have fixed the specimen as you see here the specimen is now fixed so before starting the experiment we have to check the lever arm that it should be straight and as you see with this spirit level it is uh, straight right so when it is straight with that point we have to make our extension meter the dial test indicator we are using to measure the extension it should be uh, zero right so we have make it uh, zero now what we are doing, we will start the experiment by putting a constant load, right? So here I am putting the load and I will not change the load. So you have to see here in the start, as I told you in the before, so in the start the creep, uh, the extension will be high, then it will become uh, steady and at the end it will become uh, high again. So now I am starting, uh, I release the load, so you can see the extension, it is uh, changing, right? So now we are not 
adding more load but there is extension so this is uh, creep right under constant load we see deformation in the specimen so now this will continue for at least i think it will take uh, 20 to 30 minutes we will not record the video for the whole thing but then we will give you the date Now it is too fast, see, see to the extension meter, it is too fast. So very soon you will see permanent deformation, either it will break or it will uh, just deform permanently. It will reach to the plastic regions, yeah, you saw, it breaks uh, here. So this is how we do. The creep test now in this test what happens actually we provide you uh, uh, the extension here and with time so whatever extension was there and with respect to time we will provide you this data right you see here I will provide you the photos of the specimen after uh, it deformed permanently right and you can see it here so this is what our creep experiment is, right?